is sound good versus Kennen? Maybe Kennen just like has no kill pressure against him, but on the flip side, if I was playing Kennen versus Sejuani Scion, I would be pretty happy. <laughs> just free farming for days. Yeah. I mean, the the gank's kind of scary, I guess, but so much. To Actually, see. You, you could get nailed by two two tanks and just cream pied. <laughs> They have enough damage to kill him. That's yeah. What I'm to say. Yeah. Kaisa going to five. Okay, you better have like some really crazy pick. And if you pick fucking it's Ezreal fucking here, it's real. It's I think it's real. Just... <laughs> he's got that Ezreal face on. <gasps> oh, he's got the Zeri face on. Whoa! Speaking of faces, Sneaky, do you ever like notice on YouTube when certain like people do like the the pog face for like every thumbnail? And it actually it legit annoys me. Like I will <laughs> literally stop watching someone's content if like every single thumbnail is the same copy pasted The same pog. You need to stop the pogging, literally bro. literally the same pog that they recorded like that that picture is like one year old. The pog needs to be stopped. It's like they ha they have like this fucking album, and it's like three photos. It's like the pog, <laughs> or the, and they're like the, oh, and, like with hands on their face, and they probably have like another one. And they're taking I'm... it in the ass face. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like. I'm so glad my editors have not asked me to make le pog face. Do the pog thing, double F. Do the pog do, thing. Do do the pog. <laughs> uh, is your is your if he shuffles, Jace is just dead. He's level three, dude. That's Holy shit! I, I, I literally can't say anything he, without Sneaky breathing down the back of my fucking neck. Can I get some space, please? Can I just he's... fucking express myself for one fucking second? He's level three, dude. Like, how does he shuffle? Oh, oh. pussy! You know what? If me, Maple right? did a pog if face there. I didn't say he's going to, or he can shuffle. I just said if he did. This is an interesting game. Oh, Dude, wow. I think if Azir Damn. had Deathcap Void there, that might have been a kill. You should be a lawyer, Medius. This composition is perfect for that. The Scion will keep infinitely stacking. The Azir. Dude, look at this. The level four. They're the four minute Raptor invade. Everyone loves this shit. This is the worst feel as jungler. If you get your Raptor stolen here, it's actually FF time. Oh. Surely this isn't a kill. Oh. Nah, he's dead for sure. Easy kill. What's a game time? Dude, they. They fucked him there. 15? 16? A second ahead, you fucking bastard. I think that Zeri's not very good unless you have a dive comp. As in, I think like in a double like front to back situation, I'm not really convinced that she does much more damage than any other AD carry anymore. But I think she excels at like getting in there and bursting people down. Mm. What's her build these days, anyway? Is it cracking Navori like everyone else? Static Navori, I think. Yeah. Even though Static is so nerfed, it, it's really nice to be able to just like static the range minions and W to like one shot the rest of the wave. I mean, Kraken has not the best value on Zeri too, because the time it takes her to get three autos is much higher than a regular AD carry. Does her passive like the zap apply it? No, no, that's a spell. No. Not an auto. Who's, who do you guys like uh, draft wise? I feel like PSG is probably easier to play. Maokai ult, yeah. Jace shit. It, it really depends on if, if BDS can engage, right? Because PSG has a range advantage. But if BDS can engage with like Scion, Rakan, Sedge, then they should be better. But I do think PSG's comp is better, and I feel like their team is better, so. My prediction, post diction is PSG wins. Waka's getting nailed. Oh, 100 HP heal from Ali. That was huge. Yeah, this is honestly the life of Kai'Sa. You spend quite a lot of your time under the turret. Dylan. No. If Kai'Sa's Q didn't have the OP last hit portion, would she still be a good champ? Probably not. Can't farm. Be mega cringe.
<laughs> Wait, Woody is in a good spot and he dodged. Oh, oh Woody! Oh my god. Oh, oh fatty can an all oh. here kind of disengage. Wow, wait, nobody's, wait, no, dying. No nobody's dying. dying. No one's dying. No one's dying. Fucking tanky. Any dyers? Wow, not even that many. Fl only. It's two flashes burned from BDS. And PSG. Two flashes, one kill, and all that. Yeah. I, I like that Woody played like that. If I was them, I'd be ready to flash the combo. I'm not thinking about doing anything in reaction to, like, Q flash from Ali. I mean, you literally can't. Sick play. You just have to watch his animation. As soon as you see him start, like, pounding the ground, you know he's about to flash. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's not easy. Wait, yeah, this game's 1-1 one, one at 23 Yeah, this is, like, the slowest game. <laughs> very, very... Nice of these guys to put on a nice little lullaby game for NA. Uh, yeah, they needed something to sleep to. Thanks, EU. I appreciate you eliminating GG to play like this. Love slow games. Wait, maybe a fight. We're in position. This is getting pretty spicy. Malkyle comes in. Roots nobody. Oh! Away. Smite fight, smite fight, smite fight. Tra oh. The dragon run. Oh. oh, fatty can engage. Oh my. Damage. He's exhausted. Wow. Oh, Lebrov kind of getting caught out, has to flash. And everyone walks away, nobody dies. Brownie's chasing, hold up. Brownie. He's zerying. Zerying. Oh. Alter gets slow, gonna have to flash out. Literally and he keeps nobody. Slow, but the sapling. Nobody. And they're gonna back off. How does no one die, man? Because they're the all fucking everyone defensive has champs, bro. building defensively. And the next team fight, everyone will have flashes again. If if the game is really slow, everyone's gonna have like sums for the team fight, which is kind of a shame because it makes kills less likely in the team fight. Oh, you didn't see PSG like the the the, the soccer team had their dudes like make a video saying good luck. Oh really? What soccer? Soccer? It's like uh, a wacko. Sport. Oh wow! Wacko, you're a fucking Holy legend! Oh, wacko! What the, What's going on back here? How the fuck's that working? Is this that guy possessed? Crazy. Is this guy possessed? The ghost nah, I of think Uzi. AD carries balance. This is good gameplay. AD carry four levels up on the jungler. One v nining everyone. Wow, a five zero team fight. I I just. I, I kind of forgot they did this double with the, the Giant Slayer change to make it all damage bonus. Yeah. Rather than Fizz. Uh -huh. he, should, he should definitely buy a fourth. I feel like it's still not better than it Fizz evolved, but... Okay, but like, can we talk about how big Wacko is right now? Oh. I was like, actually thinking this guy, he's not playing great. Like, I'm not impressed. And then he just does this. I thought he was suiciding. Holy shit. It's disgusting. Holy shit. The ghost of Uzi. Uzi before his back broke and his wrist gave in. Holy. I just feel like if you played jungle for one game you would know the same thing you're speaking from like privilege you're like yeah dude like why why would we help the working class out as the aristocrat like i'm totally cool with how things are stop complaining <laughs> wait, wait, wait i i fully understand how lame it is to play jungle uh, that's why i would literally never do it <laughs> Like, ah, okay, I, yeah. I get it. Are you serious? Never be poor. I'm not like so blind that like I think that the game is like really fun for everyone involved. Some people That's just get the short end shit. of the stick. Why do you think I pick AD carry? Because I get the fucking stick. <laughs> ah, I see. Yeah, Ooh, I'm not playing. I'm not playing AD carry if the jungler gets I'm to walk in my lane past ten minutes and all take minutes all my say. shit. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm not like, I'm not saying it's a good thing. I'm just like, I'm just saying, uh, the, I, I, what is, what do they say? Don't hate the player, hate the game. I'm just hmm. working with the tools that were given to me. And remind us, we, you mentioned a button that would steal a thousand gold from your jungler, yes? Well, and yes, he would he's not gonna, he's not gonna miss wrong. it. 
He's not gonna miss it, bro. <laughs> what the fuck, Wacko? You're going too crazy now. I think we should. Quote, yo, yo, honestly, let's just go in money. fountain, guys. Like, I don't really think oh. we should fight the. Okay, nice. Thank you. Wait, Crowny? Got free kill? Wacko just, like, fucking ran it down. That was a fucking boring game. It was, but PSG is looking good. I don't think anything looked good that game. I don't know, man. PSG, their team fighting was solid, and they had some really good plays. Dude, fuck, we need Speaker to join the cast, actually. So you can talk about how he was griefing Maple and holding him back. This guy's unleashed now, they just a real jungler. <laughs> just kidding. Speaking of Maple, we're carrying the corpse of TSM that's split. We could talk to him about FlyQuest to split, if you'd rather. Oh, uh, yeah, ending on a positive note. I like that. Oh, what do you think about Prince leaving double lift? His first split, he was as good as Berserker, but like had more flashy games. And then his second split in summer, he was actually like a low tier player. Like, he was in low. The first game I played against him, they were playing Aphelios. Aphelios Yumi against Lucian Milio. And we fisted them into the ground. And then the second game we played against them. Uh, you did them into the ground. Oh, that was the game that he played Aphelios against Someday's Malphite. And he literally just didn't know what he was doing. <laughs> so. He had a pretty he had a pretty rough summer split all around, I think. Anyways, I just feel like you never know how someone's gonna react to spending a lot of time abroad. It's like a, it's like death by a thousand cuts. The solo queue is worse, the team environments are like less serious or like less try hard. There's more distractions, there's things you miss about home. I feel like people like Berserker are outliers where they come here pretty good and they get even better. Yeah, I think you need the right personality for it. Like, it's probably hard when you can't express yourself properly, like, during review and to your teammates and whatnot, because you're speaking another language. Yeah, then you get really frustrated, probably. Like, you don't, you probably won't notice it Im immediately, but, like, it must be frustrating to just not fully be able to express yourself and then feel like, uh, everything is such an uphill battle to, like, get on the same page. I still think yeah. he's, like, super talented guy, like, obviously. When he's playing at his best, he's, like, so fucking good. He's a nice guy, though. As long as you weren't his supporter jungler. I didn't ever hear that he was like a resource hog, just that he was a tilter. I think to be fair, when he was playing with Winsome and Ayla, they were both playing very bad. And it could be a bit of both, like maybe they're playing bad because they know that any mistake they make will tilt him. Then it's like putting a lot of unnecessary pressure on them to do the right thing or the thing that'll like please him. You just don't know, right? It could just be that they're playing worse, and then now that Ayla's on EG, he's, like, seemed to play a lot better with uh, Unforgiven. That's actually, like, a good way to look at it, is, like, I think a lot of people, like, you know, are empathetic and, like, compassionate for their teammates, and so, like, if you're playing with a tilter, you'll want to make decisions that won't tilt your teammate, because, like, you know, obviously you don't want them to have a bad time, but then it starts fucking you when, like, they get tilted about everything, because then... Like, you're not even playing to win at that point. You're literally playing to not tilt them. So, like, even if you accomplish the goal of not tilting them, it doesn't even necessarily mean you won't, you'll win the game. Mm -hmm. It's like your goal is not even correct. Callista. Wow, that's a very early Callista pick. I, I would like to see more things. Like, I actually think Callista Renata is, like, very strong. But I like seeing more champs because... If I'm playing Kalista versus like a whole bunch of ranged bullshit that can zone me, I'm not having a good time. And they saw Kalista, this is exactly what I'm talking about. He picked Kalista and then they instantly lock in Poppy Jacks. Like I would literally, I would be so fucking annoyed coming to this game. I know you're not supposed to like have any sort of like emotional reaction to like the, the game starting. You should just play your best and like put your emotions aside, but it's just, like frustrating already. I'm like, I'm like Fuck, man, Poppy Jacks. Like, what am I gonna do? True. I mean, these champs are bound to give us some excitement. Surely we're not getting one kill at 26 minutes. I think we picked Callista Nautilus versus Kaiser Rel so that we could farm for late. <laughs> Why would there be any action? Come on, guys. Isn't this so much better, though, when, like, Akali is viable and 
just I, I don't know. I, I I love seeing a comp like like PSGs just be at least viable. I don't. It doesn't have to be every single game that it's like four melee, but it's just more fun. Just give me some fucking action, dude. Side of this one here. And this is the thing when you get this early in this in the game, it's more about who reacts afterwards rather than who engages first. And that what the fuck is going on? PSG as they look for something, they're gonna fully engage. Oh my, nice wait, that cancels? What the hell? Is he dead? Is he dead? Oh, he's very wait, dead. For sure, go rel though. All right. Whoa! Oh, it did that. Uh, nah, but he just legit ran it down for no, fun. No, but, but like his hook was so good. No, like yeah, I, I it was can't really even. Good. I can't was, like, even almost fault no him other for way he going died there. For going for that hook, like I can't fault him. That was just such a crazy hook. Like that I didn't was think such it was a good hook. It was a really good hook. Lebrov more like Lil Brub. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. Oh, that is good. That's quite the lull W, I will say. Does anyone have a stat for most pick champ at Worlds so far? Is it Renekton? Hmm. <clears throat> it's got to be like Renekton, Rakan, or one of the AD carries. Yeah. I have seen the stat, and that is right. Yeah, it's, it's, probably, it's one of those medias. Like, just... What? Oh Holy God. shit! I don't know about Talia. Like, Talia jungle, jungle is gap? looking like fucking useless bad. Jungle? Which level 4 junglers don't get butt fucked by Jax? <laughs> I mean. <laughs> most level 4 junglers don't have to flash. Oh! oh! That was crazy. Did you, did you see what happened? Did, oh. did, did, he he pushed, blocked by some shit. He pushed him into the. You know how like Rel's W creates a zone, and for like that one second, it the, the zone is a knockup zone. Like he got mm -hmm. pushed into the knockup while yeah. it was like persisting on the ground. That was troll as fuck. Holy. Sometimes Rel's W is like it feels so crazy because it like even if she if she does it behind you, you have to like wait for it to fully be done before you can flash. Yeah, but like in Wait, that case, it, it was. It goes past the indicator. So he's fucking dead. He's just AFK. He's fucking SK. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think they want to go next. What the Why did we hell? send BDS instead of Golden Guardians again? Look at this. Look at this. It missed, but then. Oh, Psych. I see. Yeah. Holy fuck. The, if I died like that, I would be like, this game blows. And never pick me close to That was like similar vibes to Uzi Feathers. Like, it's just <laughs> fucking mind blowing. Dude. Why does Talia just stop moving? Because she's dead like 20 billion times over. I know, but like. Just full on asking. When is that ever the right way? Dizzy. You could fucking pull him away from where he wants to go next and make him waste more time. Do we remember what Adam did? I don't think this team cares. Wow, that was a sick flash by Jax. I I, I think it's very hard to flash over a Cindery. Yeah, I don't know it is. If I've, I've ever done it. I don't even know if new league players will even know what the fuck that means. <laughs> what means? Like, coded as a minion. Because, like, people found out that, like, a Nivea wall and something else were coded as minions that could be farmed on accident. By, like, certain oh, abilities. Yeah. So, like, people were, like, farming the Nivea wall and, like, getting crazy overleveled. Well, I mean, the... The most exploitative one I saw was like Zerath Q being coded as a bunch of minions and then Trindamir like pressing E along Zerath Q and getting like a fuck ton of gold. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 that's it. Trindamir E. And Jayskate apparently. My chat's saying Jayskate was coded as a minion, so people are just farming it. Wow, this game looks close. Damn. Talia was able to force Akali's ult out like that by himself. What the fuck is going on, bro? It's draft cap, no? Like, they have no fucking idea what to pick. We picked it, this, this game three. seems like they just tried to pick as strong of early lanes as possible. Uh. And then Shao's like, just give me Talia, bro. I'm going to fucking cook so hard. Yeah. Whoa, Adam? Wow. Bye-bye. Double hex flashed on from behind his tower. 
I know it's fun. like kind of cringe to talk about macro, but like PSG is just so fucking good, man. Like they just like Avengers showed up mid and then they immediately go top afterwards for a pretty unexpected double hex flash play. I don't know. Yeah, they're just good. Uh, we whiff those. What the fuck is going on? Those? Oh, Maple baited everything there. Bye bye. Maple shed. <laughs> Bro. He got ignited over the wall and just flashed and died. Who? Alright. Chia. Chia's really having the game of his life here. You know, I, I will Adam say, is out. part of this game was. Uh, BDS just had like a completely wrong read of where Poppy started. Like Poppy started blue, but they thought he started top side. So Shao path to invade bot side, and then Poppy just wasn't there anyway. So all this time, check Shio, check Shio. <laughs> back to Ivern. Yeah, Surely back fuck. to Ivern. Holy, Holy fuck. shit! Not the best Talia jungle performance I've ever seen. I mean, it is fucked when he w when he wastes that much time, like you said, trying to to counter Poppy, and then ends up just like kind of on the back foot for most of the game. He did he did have a nice counter gank bot, but a uh, little bruv, he kind of just didn't want it to go so well. I think it's really shocking and impressive that PSG can be this good, like. I, I, maybe I have a horrible read of their region. I don't know. I, I, is it not BDS being ass? Dude, like, their region probably has, like, a compl- I, I don't know hey, what the average shot. salary is, or the average viewership, but, like, they have, like, a puny player base compared to you, and they have, like, probably a sliver of the salaries, so... Even if their first team what, what about can beat, it? so like if their first team can beat the fourth team in EU, I think it's a pretty big upset, personally. Hey. I don't know, man. Like when you dip too low into a region, like they're not actually good. Yeah, maybe it's not a big of an upset as I'm making out to be though. That the first seed from PCS is beating the fourth seed from LEC, but. Part of it is because I, I feel like PCS has been pretty bad for a few years. Ever since the original Flash Wolves with like Carsa and like. Betty sword art like broke up they like I don't know it just like didn't seem like that region was ever gonna uh, make a comeback again I think PSG just win wow really you think they can actually like win here like end it yep holy wow. shit how did you know can BDS reverse sweep so you don't get the first pick Renekton either. Has Adam ever won with Renekton? Can anyone, can anyone just bring up a game where he's won the game with Renekton? Like, I'm not saying he's like bad at it. I just think like if, if you're if you're BDS, the, that guy's like the only one who seems to know how to carry. So maybe we put him on something that's like more capable of doing that. How about a little Darius? How about a little Garen, yeah? If they wanted to... Would BDS be able to sub out for Golden Guardians at this point and say, um, you know what, we're frauds, we cheesed you, we get that, we're sorry, you need to play for us for the West? I think that's against the rules, BDS. Oh, well, maybe mean, maybe they asking. need to have like some sort of like Kirby shit where like, you know, when Kirby defeats him, he like eats him and then he can turn into him later. Oh. That'd be insane. You can like tag them in. Anyone Ooh. that you beat, you can tag them in. I think Caitlyn is so bad. I, I, I would not want to play Caitlyn against Kai'Sa. You're going to get ahead in CS by how much before your melee support just gets dead zoned and then you just like don't do anything? Like Caitlyn oh, Rel just sounds so bad. Caitlyn hard Yeah, pushes. that sounds fucking awful. And and then Rel, when, when the wave is under the turret where Caitlyn normally shines, is going to waddle back and forth. Uh, there's no way this is going to be good. But... They still might win because they've been playing better. I know that th th this is like a huge contested uh, oh, topic. Laugh. I've, I've asked a lot of uh, mid laners what they think. And I feel like it's pretty mixed about if Silas is taking Alistair ulti is that good compared to a normal ulti. Bjergsen said it was okay. Quid said it was okay. 
but like I mean, it's it's good if you want to be tanky yeah no shit but like so i think <laughs> silas with malk ulti is giga broken right but okay let's just say like silas with azir or orion ulti is is that more impactful than the alistair ulti? i think i feel like it's it's very close like i don't think alistair ulti is so broken like man i see alistair on, like we, we have to pick silas like that's just a fucking checkmate i think the Maokai is more of like an amazing ulti to take. And honestly, like they just picked a Zir, and I feel like that's an amazing ulti to take. And Alistar is like also good. Maybe on the same level. Yeah. The real deceptive I mean, one is Terracle for Silas. Like, Terracle ulti is ass cheeks on Silas. Yeah, it's so it's bad. So bad. Because like yeah. you don't have the W that Terrick I mean, has. Terrick's all kind of shit on Terrick as well. Like it's so fucking rare for that thing to actually be useful. If somebody gets a cat and they name them Yumi, I'm like, I instantly judge, honestly. Yeah, you judge that they have judged. a big, hard clock. Yo, Adam's legit. He he knows this is the last game. Hmm? The writing's Why? on the wall. This is the last God no, champion didn't. he didn't play. That's so normy. I would never do that. No way I wanted that. <laughs> really? What? Okay, well, I believe huh? you. What? what, is she saying you wanted to name your cat Yumi? Lena's fun facting. But I, I guess apparently I want to name our cat Yumi. You know what, honestly, <laughs> both, both of them, them? Yumi. <laughs> <laughs> Yumi one and two. Wow, Caitlin that's is, awesome. Caitlin is literally one CS behind Kaiser early game. What a great pick! You're really punishing this lane. <laughs> I mean, are are you seeing wait the, the headshots? I'm seeing it, and I'm believing it. The, the spacing on his automatic attacks is, like, just out of this world. Alistar is such a lame champ to lane against, because every fucking time you get the wave under the turret, if you're not diving them, he's, like, healing the A to carry, like, 200. True. Fuck that champ. But he's actually so bad, so that's, like, the one thing he actually is good at is neutralizing the lane. Alistair's bad? Yeah. Dude, I, the other day I was watching Core JJ stream and it was like him and Alicopter going back and forth like coaching each other. It was actually kind of cool. One thing that I found interesting was Alicopter, like, I assume it's not every time, but at least when I was watching, like he almost never just did a regular combo, like WQ. He would almost always like space his shit out. In what way? I don't know, Try like get W a, a them, like stun. run at them with phase rush, like yes. with the E and then like Q or some shit. Like, I, I don't know. It was, it was interesting. If I knew that exactly sounds, what he was doing, then it... How, how does it even make sense? How is he getting phase rush off W? I don't fucking know, man. Ask him. It's, that's not how it works. Wait, what is Shao doing? Why oh. is he running into the turret? Why? Does he know it's Wrong turret, bro. Oh, because Silas is getting the kill. He, he didn't want Silas to get the kill. Oh. Okay. 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 I'm sorry. He made the right play. He made the right play. False alarm. I, I so is unique. He like never does a normal combo. He always grease it in some fantastical way. It's not great, dude. <laughs> watch it before you talk. Merc tries rush on Nar against uh, Olaf. I know that he's against Naokai, obviously, but that's very interesting to see. Yeah, that's pretty weird. I'm not really going to question it, because Merc Treads also seems fine for mitigating the slow. Wait, what? We we go in on those? Lil' bro? We do, we do. We go in on those? Wait, the Q missed. Lil' bro? Oh we do be comboing those. Oh my god, what... What do you think he was thinking when this guy was hitting the ward? Did, did he think that Rel just had the biggest balls off? Oh my! What? What the fuck just happened? Dude, I saw how did fucking his nuclear between player how did cam during that and he was rolled directly into a blunt. That was crazy. Maple was fucking smoking him on stage. <laughs> Holy shit. That was incredible. Yo, let me let me get a hit at that nuke. Oh wow, bro! I need I need to see that. I what need to see fuck? how did he end up there. BDS is making some baffling decisions, so like this is crazy. I was just a debate. Probably thought Woody yeah. was bluffing, called his bluff, wasn't a bluff. Took it in the yeah. arse. How, wait, how did he start taking turret? Oh my god! Wait, that's unlucky. 
Oh, Maple. That's just a <laughs> oh, fat Maple. Fuck outplay. And, 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 and Nuke <laughs> didn't flash. That's the crazy thing. He didn't flash. <laughs> Bit of a misplay there. I'm going back to see how he ended up dropping turret aggro despite. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was obviously a misplay by Nuke, but I feel like Maple played it pretty fucking well. Like, I don't think he was expecting Silas to like perfectly space around his zero alt to not get CC'd and then hit him with the chain into alt immediately. Yeah, it was it was well played by Maple for sure. Oh, uh, dude, not he has to do the thing on Caitlyn. Like, I, I swear the one of the best feelings in League is you play Caitlyn. You get both bot laners down to one health, and then you start ulting one of them, and you see if the other yeah. one takes the bullet or not. It's like Saw. Yep. <laughs> it's actually the nicest fucking feeling. Like, you feel like... You're God. So in control, yeah. I actually think Caitlyn is going to do zero damage against these uh, Olaf, Maokai, Alistar, like just actually zero damage. Is it Static Shiv, Kate? Uh, could be Stormraiser still with it's those items. probably Stormraiser. Yeah. Uh, High key. I think on the right side we have Kai'Sa who's going uh, Hail of Blades lethality against four tanky champs. So she's not also not going to do much damage. Four tanky champs, huh? Oh, here come that boy. Nah, but Lil Bruv is... Lil Bruv? Okay, they at least got him. I feel like he didn't play that correctly at all. Like, he was behind the guy. He didn't headbutt him back. He didn't just regular pull him and then headbutt him back. He waited till he passed him, then comboed. So he's a noob. I mean, it didn't Holy look like an expert Alistair combo, I'll say that, but... <laughs> what the... Oh! Wait. What the fuck? Wait. Oh! Oh! Oh, wait. The W missed. Yes, the w he's actually missed. turbo throwing. The w. It's actually throw. It's crazy throw with PSG, yeah. That was a giga throw, yeah. Uh, I think BDS can win off of this, like, just getting a little bit of gold on Kaisa early. And putting Caitlyn out of the game. I mean, any death that you have with Caitlyn is, like, so fucked up. It's really fucking bizarre why they picked Caitlyn here. It's very interesting to play Caitlyn in team fights too. I'm thinking about it more and more, and it's like, well, his entire team is going to be diving in, right? So he's just going to kind of be hitting whoever he can. They're getting poked the fuck out by Maokai Kaisa. Yep. I mean, Kaisa doesn't really poke, but Maokai does. Wanted to contest here. Do you think Caitlyn should have trap max by now or Q? Oh. Oh. Two dead? Okay. I don't know. Wow. I mean, I don't know what PSG's doing in this one. Oh. Wow. You're supposed to be hype, bro. They're losing and now they're winning. I think you're right on the BDS prediction. I think Caitlyn's just too troll of a pick. It's really troll, yeah. I think the gap between, like, the OP, 80 carries, and Caitlyn is quite fucking large. Yo, what time are you guys at? Yo, what time are you at, bro? It's, uh... Yo, what time is it? 1.48 for me. Oh! 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 Wait, Woody? Oh! It's flash. We'll use it. Or will he hold it? Okay. <laughs> it got a little scary. Caitlyn literally makes no sense. I, I mean, like, I think you can play with, like, Thresh and Morg and try to fuck them in lane. Can't play it with Rel. The problem with Caitlyn Morg is that... You have Caitlyn Morg as your two bot lane champs and... <laughs> yes. No, I, I it's know. It's like I know. legit two hot dogs. In, in the fights where Caitlyn... I feel like the delta with Caitlyn between her best fight and her worst fight is so ridiculous compared to like most AD carries. Like most AD carries, you can like rely on them to do something, right? But with Caitlyn, it's like, well, did you hit like four trap combos or zero? Yeah, you legit because need the traps. If you hit zero traps, she might actually be the lowest AD carry. Lowest DPS AD carry. 
dragon spawn yeah go. i mean she has a steroid yes look to try and stack that objective yeah ourselves, getting attacks she only really does damage with headshots almost all of her damage is is on the trap it's completely reliant on your teammates being a champ that lets you use trap on their cc yeah caitlin bard is the pog combo it is it is i'm pogging just thinking about it Oh my god, look at the Ruts. How can Silas you tell Malkyle which is on which team? Oh, okay. Crownie's gonna go! Oh! Crownie might be the biggest joker in the world. Oh, no, he gets out. Crownie beats everything! Holy shit, he's so Nuke good! Nuke goes in, takes out Wacko. Is it even worth going for Caitlyn? She doesn't fucking do anything. No, I think Caitlyn's best bet is to just get everyone to dog Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was funny. The Grid Escape. That I don't think I've ever seen fucking... that. Have you guys ever seen double, double hex? Wait, LeBron? What is LeBron doing? LeBron! He's got LeBron, no. he's fine. Oh, oh, he's doing okay. that! That's what he's doing! Wow, oh he's so my. swag. That felt like some shit out of a cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a really good way to put it. Like some Scooby-Doo shit. Wait. Wait. Oh! 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 Brownie W? Right back a oh. bit favor of PSG. Aja has put the fucking NAR show. Wearing them for most of this series, having an incredible game one and game two, and continuing it into game three here. This time, Shea, we talked about Dude, it was probably so hard to tell which fucking roots were which. Like, three people on BDS got rooted. Crowny held his cleanse, gets comboed. That was some shocking stuff. Did Crowny just think, uh, I'll just hold my cleanse? Wait, they're on then... Baron. Oh. Ooh! You can't do this against Kais. You're gonna get legit poked the fuck out. Wait, look at this. Look at this they trap line. The trap. They have the trap line of doom. Yo, everyone kite out. They have the trap line. The trap line. No, they're not using it at all. Whoa. 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 Uh, like, how Whoa. is there just a gap in the trap line, though? Uh, I don't know. Wacko's <laughs> first timing this champ, I think. Uh, misplaced. Misplaced. What the fuck is going on? Oh! Holy oh. shit. He did something. Headshot. Wait. What the fuck? No way. Oh, Holy shit! Cloudy, stop Mike it! Mike Jungler's life's not worth 500 damage on me. <laughs> I feel like double it's opens up the shot. I don't know. <laughs> what? I think their Wait, view like, on junglers is probably pretty similar. You want me to like cancel my recall and block? Holy fuck! That can't be good for my CS per minute. Did you guys see fucking Caps' win rate in Korean solo queue? Uh-uh. What is it? It's like... I think around 1k LP challenger, like 70% win rate. Holy... What a fucking demon. What's he playing? Uh, I think Silas was the most played. He's played a bunch of shit, though. What's he wearing? I'm not sure. Probably just comfortable clothes. All relevant questions. Oh, the head splash comes in from Alistair, lands right on the trap. That's the old super early. Jarvis the combo. Ulti and combo out. Jarvis incident. Oh, Baron's low. I can't see how low. Wait. Oh my god. Crowny baited them perfectly. One HP. Oh my god. Oh, Maple's surely gonna go down here. Surely, no, they can't do it. Can they? Can they do it? Oh, they can. Can they do it? Can they do it? Yeah, they can. He's looking for a little bit more damage. The smite can't come out just yet. Finally, does go in. He's hiding it. Holy shit! Holy shit! Yo! Yo, if he jumped into it and died, I would have laughed my fucking ass off. Holy shit. It's a horror go. game. We got, we got a real fucking game. game, boys. The saplings, they're coming! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see what Caitlyn did this fight. Got fucking a zero to then. Bro, Crowdy's having literally Alistar. the worst time I've ever seen. Watch this. He's like, okay, I'm gonna go back to finish Baron now. What the fuck is this thing at my feet? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, he flashed oh and got Kate fucking his girl it too. In. Yeah. Oh Are we God. sure Caitlyn's a real champion? <laughs> no, we're sure she's not a real champion. Man, I would roll my eyes so goddamn hard if I'm jungling and my AD carries like, let's pick Caitlyn here.
What? The whole what game, I'm just like. What if I was telling you to pick Kalen? Then, then you have to do it. If you were telling me to pick Kalen, like uh, that, Kalen's good here. For jungle or what? Why would I be picking it? Second me, yes. Uh, oh my God, we fighting, we fighting. Oh, he got the fucking BDS. Got it. Wait, what? Uh oh, Maple's going Maple in. He Street. has the Alistair oh. ult. He's really tanky, but not really. Olaf's got true damage. Caitlyn's hitting Alistair. He's not really doing much. He's getting knocked bye in. Bye. Uh oh, oh Narsho, my. not gonna be enough. Holebreaker's disabled from Rel being oh. there, and that's gonna be the 4-0 ace. And we're going to get five GG. This is what no, I'm saying though. Four. Like, isn't isn't Silas with Alistair ulti like not that good? It sounds so he, dumb. I mean, to I mean say he, he was fucking the base Olaf. Of Olaf. Yeah, Olaf actually counters it. Olaf shits yeah. on Alistair. Wait, what? Not ending, I guess. I don't know why PSG isn't just playing around Caitlyn's rapid fire headshots. Like, he can do at least 300 damage <laughs> from a pretty uh, mid range every like 30 seconds or so. Like, they so can just Caitlyn, win off okay, that. I'm watching Caitlyn this fight. He netted. He autoed once. He gets he just done by Alistair. He... he did nothing. Dude, he's it's tickling an Alistair, not ulted. Zero damage to Alistair. This is, this is His really, champion is really so ass. I might have to move Caitlyn down to free lose tier after this one. <laughs> Why did I put Caitlyn and Kogma in the same tier? That actually makes no sense. Either I underrated Kogma or I overrated Caitlyn because Kog you're, would have just played. done infinitely more damage. This, this you're game. a scared little boy. You want to hear my hot take about Kogma? What? what? I think he's actually meant to be a support. Mm, that's very, very good take. In what way? Okay, so you... You just run, like, I don't know, either Halo Blades or Lethal Tempo, and you just build, like, Sork Boots and I don't, maybe a Nashers or something for your one damage item, and you just do a ton of damage, and they go on you, kill you, and then you blow up on them. Okay, but, like, you're too free to kill. Not, I mean, you have, you have ulti to check vision. You're legit so free. I mean, it's kind of like Brand or old Zyra. Like, you just, you're a big threat. As he does like 20 times less damage. No, I, he does good base damage. Not a support. How, how can Cog ever be useful as a support, bro? No, no one's gonna make space for him. He's making space for everyone else. He took by with his nine passive. With his no, passive. I mean, the, like he, he's got a long range still. They have to dive in on him. <laughs> what if you just completely it, it, ignore him? Because he's you might as well just. Yeah, it, then like he's Brand. pissing on you. He's done so Brand, much damage. Brand, Brand is infinitely doing more damage than Kogma as a support. Dude, Dude Kog, yeah, do Brand doesn't have damage. sustained damage. Kogma Kog, does. Kog is not going to do anything. Dude, Hail of Blades, Kogma with support items, like or like. I mean, you're not, not buying whatever. support items. You're buying like a fucking like AP Work. items or something. Wins you okay. maybe. I don't know. Just like whatever one item gives you the most damage. Don't get over greedy. Don't dive at base. You're doing great. I see. That is a hot take. I think Medi uh, Medius needs to play Zach, and then I'll play support Gogma. <laughs> sure. Uh, Actually, what uh, am I even saying? Next, how time, am I, we're how am next I time we go botlane together, I'll go support Gogma. Uh, 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 <laughs> I think I might dodge for the first time ever. <laughs> <laughs> nah, like, you guys are trying to see the downsides of it without, like, acknowledging the strength. <laughs> oh, yeah? Wow, yeah. this Azzy guy, kind of crazy. The strength, like, he does ta he does damage if everyone ignores him Any he front lines. Oh my god, one of our cats just took an atomic shit. <laughs> wow. Oh. Oh, yeah, dude, fuck, can you mute? That smells fucking horrible. Oh my god, oh. he ran away. He knows that he just committed a crime. <laughs> wow, that smells so bad. Holy moly. Lena, press the button. Quickly, the cycle button. Is it, what does it look like? Okay. You have the auto shitter or what? The auto cleaner? Yeah, the fucking litter robot. It's too goaded. Do you have one? It's a litter robot? Yeah. They get auto cycles. Perfect. The litter. Oh, okay. Uh, no, I don't have it. Did you need to? It's a huge time saver. 
AP here, Crowny. Oh no. Yeah. He's considering it. Oh, oh Alice is being fucked. fucked by Caitlyn. No, he's bro, fucked. No. He's actually fucked. Uh oh. Kaisa on trolling. the way out. BDS going to see if they can get anyone back. Kaisa oh yeah, Adam's move. going in with the ghost. The ultimate. He's getting kited a little oh! bit. Uh oh, Caitlyn. Oh, wait, wait, Maple's dead. Butthole. Maple's going to zone him. Make Olaf ult run off, and he's gone. Mistake by Maple there. You can just sit the thing is, once Caitlyn's six, six items replaces boots, he will start doing about the damage of a one item Kaisa. <laughs> Lol, it, 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 it doesn't get better. I, I'll tell you that much. Like, Caitlyn's spikes at six items because of like gathering storm, but I mean, not uh, like she'll literally only spike if someone walks into a trap, a carry. Yes, or, or fucking Zoni is in front of her. Yo, they're about to have four fucking Hextech Drakes on BDS. Look at, Kate, look at how Wacko was playing that. Oh my god. He can't even kill him. He does nothing. Oh my, oh my god. god. Hey, how Wacko played speed. that might have been actually illegal in some countries. Holy fuck. I mean, surely they're not whipping out a champion that they've never fucking won a scrim with, but I don't see how you're winning shit with a Caitlyn on your team. Uh, I mean, let's just talk about the play as well. Like... Uh, they gotta show the second part. That was that was some crazy stuff. What I just saw. He netted for literally no reason. And let him. You know him you're up. like not responsible for your team's success at all if you're picking something like Caitlyn. And no, I mean, Caitlyn is like the ultimate. I'm gonna carry or I'm gonna be useless. Wait, whoa, 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 that was an interesting decision to take the gate. That wasn't me. I didn't touch shit. What? Uh, what? What game time? My thing like fucking went back at the replay. Three, four, five, what the fuck? I didn't six. Touch anything. Same. Wait, Shojinar? You talked about that? Whoa, that's crazy. Have we talked about that? Have we talked about that? I think it's pretty crazy. Have we talked about that? Do you think it's crazy? We talked about that. I do a dupio. I just realized what it is. Any AD carry that needs zeal items is like not that good because the zeal items just suck. I don't what think any of them are huh? 59, 39, 1, 2. Yeah, I, I'm with you. Yep. I stand with you. I stand with Sneaky. Fuck yeah. Wait, the combo? Wait, Alistair? Oh my it's God, unlosable. I mean, Hextech Soul. How, how are you ever going to lose the game with Hextech Soul? And you have late game Kai'Sa. Late game Kai'Sa literally and can you're against Caitlyn. I mean, yeah, but... Well, let me just see him do some shit. Like, late game Kaisa is seriously one of the most fun and broken things that ever has existed. Oh! Scoop de poopa! Oh! Holy shit, Wait, Crown, he's oom. a god. He's oom. <laughs> Medios? What's up? He's fucking dead! Oh, okay. yo, trap the Zonia. There is no way. My stream is like weirdly lagging. Oh. Like the frame rate or something. GG, 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 GG. There is no way GG. that you can lose this game it's with Jover. XX Soul. It's Jover, it's actually Jover. Jover for who? Oh! How is this a fucking four item AD carry beating on a bruiser, by the way? Like, what? Wait, wait. 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 This role is balanced wait. if they actually wait. did this much wait. damage. Oh, I did like no damage. What? Oh, he's dead, he's dead. How did he die? Leandris. Leandris. And the red oh. pot, the blue pot, maybe? No, he didn't even eat the blue pot yet. Just Leandris. Oh. I might have been like triggered a Hextech Soul again or something. Report this fucking Caitlyn, man! Report this guy! Well, looks like you guys were right. BDS won. So, are BDS still frauds? Well, I think they just played against a fucking Caitlyn in current year. So, Caitlyn, the coach gap. No fucking wonder I knew this guy was dog shit. Who's the coach again? Fire him. With her current kit, she's fun, sure, but... 
Is it not just a number thing? No, not really. I, I, you could just throw numbers and make it OP, but... Yeah, I mean, I, I think they get to buffer uh, numbers. It seems fine to me. Uh, like, I feel like Caitlyn's damage is more reasonable for an AD carry. I think, like... Really? Hyper carry is just one-shotting everything. It's nah. fucking dumb. I, I mean, that's, that's just the game, though. Like, that's just how the game works. I mean, they can change, they that's can change how Kaisa sure. works. No, it's not, it's not them. It's, like, everybody. Silas hits an E on you on AD carry, you're dead. Like, look at this. The E itself just, like, killed Kaisa. I mean, either don't get hit by E or play with the well, enchanter. No, I, I mean, I'm just saying, like, the, the amount of damage this game has is absurd. Yeah, but, I mean, the burst champions doing high damage is one thing. AD carries who can sustain that. is, like, sustained, though. Like, he's not... Burst. Not to the he same no degree, burst. dude. Like, 80 carries are critting, like, fucking 1k damage twice per second. Like, I, I mean, yeah, that, that shouldn't be a thing either. I think everyone should have a chance to live more than half a fucking second. Yeah. Shit's boring. But you know what? It's the, like, it's like when the damage your is low. Is hell. Yeah, when the, the damage, damage is low, low it, just it, more encourage, it just encouraged 80 carry. Yeah, first off, 80 carries were even more OP when everyone had lower damage. And second but off, it's not about 80 carry being OP. The game was the argument. It's just the the one shot, no counterplay type of thing isn't kind of dumb. Hmm. I mean, just just locking Caitlyn here looks good to me. Well, are they like what's happening with this recon? I mean, can you really pick Rakan if Caitlyn's up? There's probably nothing more impossible than playing Aphelios versus Kaisa Nautilus. I would love to see what this what his support is cooking here. He's like, I can ditch your ass and play some engage, or I could try How to make, Nami? help you survive. Yeah, that would be really good. Nami? Yeah, think about it. Like, you soak all Nautilus Rs. He he wants to ult you. And then Aphelios roams free. Wow. You're what a if genius. Aphelios this still could be a support anyway. Gogma game. Like, if it's still open, 4-5. Wait. Could just provide Dude, the damage. It is up. Utility. You guys are going to feel so silly when support Kog'Maw makes its big break. Gets hooked yeah. and dies instantly. Remember when I was yeah. talking about the guy with the crazy predictions? <laughs> well... <laughs> I have some news for you, bro. I actually like PSG's comp way more this time. They have, they're, they're, they're like, pretty good damage. Pretty they good did energy it. Oh between the my god. God, Garen. Garen, let's go. Let's go. He had to play the full gods, bro. That was actually his plan. Finally, they aren't He's like, trolling. Now I, can, now I can play the, <clears throat> the game again. I can unleash my full power. Ivern's level one? Oh. Yeah, that's pretty normal, Sneaky. <gasps> oh, he's two. Dude, what a cheesy champion. Is Ivor not just like one of the most disgusting champs that Riot has ever reworked? This is so stupid. Yep. This is so stupid that he can do this. This is unbelievably dumb that he can do that. And go back to his jungle and collect four camps. Why did they make... What about Jax? Five camps. Yo, he's gonna queue in and then Jax is gonna be there and jerk him? Oh. No. Oh, and he just used his Q. Oh! No, he's, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Oh, he just walks away. Dude, I... I'm actually pinging my top laner quite passive aggressively here. You're pinging in him? What? The. So, damn. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me just fully understand this. Ivern marked five camps, then stole two of the enemy camps. So he touched seven camps, and Maokai did four. Like, that's just so dumb. Why did they make him have the fastest fucking clear known to man while also being like the most like supportive and low skill champ possible? Nah, I'm pretty Good sure I'm, I'm fairly sure this champ is broken. And you place your trust in these guys over Sneaky Videos' fucking hotbox sessions? That's true. I mean, the more weed you guys smoke, the better the ideas do seem to get. <laughs> And he got his next camp as well. Is this guy just a dirty Ivern player? Is that where their wins come from? Yeah, pretty much.
Rocco's feeling scared to walk forward and actually try and grab. He is like, uh, W Max Aphelios. That's what people do. Oh, oh, damn. Oh, W Master. Massive move there from BDS. Yes, he's more than happy to take that if something else is happening on the other side of the map. And that's exactly what happened here. Woody. Oh wow! Did did Woody not have Q? He, he, you can you can cancel Nautilus's hook like not cancel hook, but you can cancel the combo of hook into auto. It's a very normal thing to do. And LeBrov making a move onto Aja. Aja. Normal for double lift. A high reaction base player. And high uh, words per minute typer. In high mental state. Oh, he's spinning. Oh, solo cool. Holy shit. Dude, Adam is the fucking undisputed goat. I would like to see somebody try Tristana. Bot lane. Yeah, there was a that Tristana makes so much sense to me. Like, just play it's... like Trist Alley or Trist, Trist Terra, Trist Nautilus against Kai'Sa. That makes sense. Did that Trist win? I don't remember. Wait, what? Shao? Shao just... Uh, uh, so we got the Herald. Huh? I don't think anyone has the Herald so far. I mean... Oh, I feel you just picked it up. Lil Bruv? Wow, you flashed that! You monkey! You absolute animal! Oh, oh Nuke goes in! Oh. Can he kite him out 1v4? No. Oh, oh he died. Okay. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say Woody straight up does not know about the tanking Nautilus hook and then hitting Alistair Q at the same time tech. It is like the only explanation for how he's played the last two times where the first time he just got hooked, didn't use Q, second time he flashes. Let's see it again. Let's see that shit. Let's see it again. So he combos. I mean, his his Q is certainly up at the at the point where he gets hooked here. Moist certainly. And normally you would just moist like this. Boom. Moist certainly. Oh, he flashed it. That's why. Yeah, he got out of the way. Oh, and then he flashed his pull. You saw it double -hooked? Yeah, no shit, he flashed it, guys, but why would you ever flash it when you can easily tank it and then Nautilus uh, is in a flash. He had flash. He had flash. That's why. Mm, I see. Yeah, he actually flashed out of it, so he didn't even get it at all. He didn't need to get hit. He flashed. Now he's safe. Safe, yep. sound, cozy. I don't know why uh, Malka didn't also flash it. He's got his cats next to him in his bed now. Holy shit, dude. He's chilling. Still ahead, they are still kind of stacking themselves open with that first dragon picked up. They made oh, he's fucking about to fight over the tower. Uh, oh my god, two guys spinning next to each other. That looks so risky to go for. Wait, what's going on here, guys? What's going on here, guys? Oh, wait, he can't kill. He can't kill. I don't miss a lot of farm for that. There was a big wave. Oh my. I hate getting God. fucking beat up by Daisy. That shit is so tilting. What the hell? This is actually pretty dope. Solo plate Stephilios. He picked up the Herald. Hmm. They're sharing, yeah. I'm surprised that they're share. No, Alistair didn't get it. Is this a oh, real? No, oh. Wacko seems kind of fucked here. I think he's dead. Oh, oh no, they're both. They're Holy both shit, Nuke dead. is actually carrying this game. Wait, he did the thing. He did the thing. Double lift. You saw it? He pushed Q after getting hooked. What? Oh, is that allowed? My. Oh my. Wow. wow. They wow. actually get some wow. back. This game is spicy. Two for two. I like ultimately. it. That, that's, a, that's an insane result. Two for two after how it started? Unreal. Wacko says, dude, I just wanted to drop my fucking Herald. He dies to Ivern E. Yeah, look at this. Ivern is seriously... Like, champs like Ivern are some of the most like degenerate shit that can ever exist in the game. Like, winning by doing nothing. That cannot ever be the, like 
dominant strategy. Facts. Alright, well, watch the Alistair Q on the hook. Okay, let me see it. Oh, yeah, that was nice. Holy. He you saw it. that, dude. You saw, saw it. Yeah, shit. yeah, he got hooked and he keyed. Fuck. Yo, that That's was actually crazy. nice. That was so sick. Why didn't Mabel go for Lil Brev? Sneaky giggling. I think there's nothing in this, no sound in this world better than Sneaky's giggle. So hot. So fucking stupid. <laughs> Hey man, this Maokai bush has stayed up for like 30 seconds. You think there's a word in it? Nah, probably not. <laughs> he also failed to sleep on the on the river bush ward sad times. Oh my god. Do you think most people know that Ivern change where uh, his bush disappears after 8 seconds of his team having no vision of it? I don't think, think anyone common in knowledge. that region. I don't think anyone in that region plays Ivern. I'm, I'm mm. not gonna lie. And no, it's not common knowledge. So Garen is just balanced, or what? I mean, but why did he wait till now to pull it out? Like, he gives it to Golden Guardians, shamelessly cheeses. It's kind of fucked up. I'm not gonna lie. Jax might be one of the most useless champs to ever exist from behind, too. Like, the fact that he's not farming that well, and he's getting behind an XP, getting shit on by Jax. So easy to play versus Jax, who's not, like, ahead of the curve. Oh, it's because they, they, they respected Golden Guardian so much. They knew they had to pull out Garen early, but they don't. They, they know these guys are way weaker than GG, so they didn't need to bust it out till game four. Mm. Makes sense. Giving Harold and getting Jax a, a full plate on the side is, is pretty nice. This is a huge downside in, in having no TP, is it's really hard to play mid game and late game. A full plate at 15 minutes? Holy. Full tower, full tower. Wait, that guy's no flash. Uh oh. Uh oh. The ult comes in, Junji is getting jumped on. Oh, Maple oh. dies somehow? Uh oh. Crownie's in a bad spot. Big blast cone. He's pissed chilling. Holy fuck. Crowny does so much damage. I like the Chemtech map a lot. I think it's cool. Yeah, it's good. I just wish there was a better indicator, not just on this map, but in general, of when and where plants are going to spawn. True. I swear, like, I, I could not tell you. If I take a Blast Cone, like, how long oh God. and where the next one's going to be, I have no fucking idea. Bro, this game's over. Yup. It's an actual reverse sweep. Oh! I think Nuke's playing really well this game. I mean, I guess all of BDS is playing a lot better. Silence! It seems like Adam playing his bullshit just gives everyone confidence. <laughs> when they see him under an act and they're like, I don't know what to do. But now with Adam on Garen, they're like, dude, I can fuck around this game. Adam's got me. Wait, you actually got ran down from there? Ah, I see. Uh, no way, not a 100 no. to 0 with one item! <laughs> Look at Ozzy, he just goes, what the fuck? The fuck, is fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is that, bro? Demacia, bro. Dude, he hasn't even bought. He has so much unspent, and he's doing that. It's not fair, bro. It's not fair. <sighs> Actually, though. Yeah, you can eat the silence as Jax. Wait, he's just dead. He did it earlier. It's actually just Jover. It really is. Dude, did you guys fucking uh, hear Tofu screaming bloody murder? We heard a bit. I wasn't sure what it was. 
Dude, but our cat, our cat had that. the craziest diarrhea and got it all over his foot. So he's like walking around, spreading his diarrhea on the ground. Then I pick him up, cause I'm like, what the fuck is going on? He's putting he's his diarrhea foot like all over me. We put him <laughs> in the sink. He thinks it's bath time. I mean, to be fair, it is bath time. Like he needed to get like a, a like spot bath where it's just his foot. And he's like screaming bloody murder, and he's also <laughs> clawing us with his diarrhea foot. Nice. Oh, that's actually cursed. Yeah. Well, it's your fault. You gave him bath time. Yo, check out this kill, the wolf. All right, let me see. Let me see it. <laughs> that seemed very fair. <laughs> Legit hundred zero. <laughs> Dead in the silence. The fact that he's not even fed for it and he's like running phase rush and resolve is just even more funny. Yeah. Straight up all natty, just fucking rando one shotting. Like a full tank is, jacks too. He's got Sunderer. This is their like absolute comfort, right? BDS. It's Adam on Garen, Shao on Ivern or Maokai, and I mean. Well, I don't know if everyone else is playing Comfort. I don't fucking know enough about him, but it seems like it fits their style really well. Dude, they need to just kill Daisy. People who don't play against Ivern often underrate how fucking OP this thing is. Oh my god, he got the Dustblade reset there. <laughs> yep. This is just a sad time. Does anyone enjoy watching Garen? Yeah, dude, he's so cool. <laughs> it's nice to know you don't need any skill whatsoever to fucking win League of Legends. The average player should be thrilled to hear that. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Nah, but. <laughs> Yo, you fucking camp for him and he kills both of you dumbasses. What the fuck? He's spinning. Wee! Dude. Uh, do I have time to go take a shower, bros? Yeah. Like, I, I I legit got cat diarrhea all over me. Like, I need to take a shower. This is fucked. Yeah, you you should. The game's right, I'll over. Be I'll be back. This is a perfect time. Yep. The game is ending. Yo, PSG's actually gonna get reverse swept though. Maybe, maybe. Actually, reverse swept. BDS just needed two whole ass games to snooze and turn their PCs on. Garen's super, super weak. Adam is just super, super good. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, okay, buddy. Casters talk about how when you're super behind in a game, you and your team are talking, thinking about it next. Not really. Maybe like. If you just got ace and they're about to end the game, but I'm back. I didn't shower. I just washed my arms and I took off my shirt and I oh. rubbed my nipples. Kaisaban? Oh god! All right, Draven's the pick now. Now we're actually playing chess. It's Draven versus Lucian bot lane. That would be cool. I want to see one Lucian this world. Please don't pick as, please. No one is blinding as, bro. Please, I beg you, don't do it, Crowny. Don't end the entire series on one pick. Who the fuck is ever going to blind Ez? I, I feel like these picks have no, like... I'm sniffing the Ezreal. They have no heart. They have no I'm soul. I'm sniffing it. No, it's just like they're nothing picks. It, it doesn't, it doesn't like inspire like oh they're building this comp they're like doing okay. anything in particular it's just like we just locked in like pretty neutral kind of below average picks honestly since i don't really feel like nara and aphelios are gonna be that high prio for either position i don't mind this area sorry yeah yeah i i would have honestly i would have liked to just not blind any carry if i was him but maybe he feels he pinched they left open darius and Garen. This is very strange. Maybe they figure we can't ban them all. We'll just pick something that doesn't get cheesed quite as hard. I feel like these bans, he is looking for a Silas because he sees Maokai. Also Zeri, pretty good. Why are you talking about the draft? Yeah, it's a bit weird. I'm invested now because it's game five. 
Oh my god, I think they should just try to play a kite back comp and not like don't pick like Silas here Even though it looks kind of juicy PSG who are you rooting for dude? The, what about the West? Honestly, fuck the West. I, I, go, I go for Maple Street My favorite diddy carry He is kind of the goat Let's see what's up Syndra's up. That's a good pick Talia Oh. Not my favorite. I think BDS is a way better draft. Their champs are unbelievably face roll and easy to pull off. Meanwhile, PSG is like fucking trying to escape the matrix with every fight. They're gonna have to like hit the perfect engage into a Talia combo. If Ellie's only be in perfect position, meanwhile BDS just is like oh yeah, this two is... hyper carries with dashes. BDS just wins. BDS wins. I'm calling it from draft. Holy shit. BDS Let's go. wins. Congrats, BDS, on making it to World Finals. Holy! Just give them their American citizenships already. I mean, like, they won it. It's a dub. Fleet footwork, Darius. Wow, that is interesting. I mean, that's pretty normal. Really good for move speeding and healing. Damn, wait, you're right. absolutely fucking this... Yeah, what... What is, what is Lil, Lil Bruv doing? Lil Bruv I, I, I don't know. He's Lil, Lil, Lil Bruv is legit just like getting hit for fun. <laughs> and I think the main thing is when when you when you get hit by Aphelios, unlike Kaelin, he he vamps back to full and he has fleets. How does the wave do this shit? Like where the minions start getting intertwined? Because he aggroed the minions by autoing out of the bush, then he reset the aggro in the in the middle bush. So the minions like aggro him for half a second, move forward, and then they de-aggro and go back to doing their regular thing. Is that good for getting the push? It's extremely good for the guy who's hitting because if you... Let's say you auto them from inside the bush. You pull their wave and you push really hard. Like because their minions are glitching out for a longer time. Yeah. So like when you reset the aggro, it's like... You're keeping the wave in the middle for longer. That's why it's wave three already, and it's still in the middle. It hasn't crashed yet. Oh, that's minus three on three waves. This is like Ugh. the bullshit. This is the bullshit of Zeri, by the way. Watch this. She will miss literally no CS under turret. It, you would have to try to miss creeps under turret. Uh, like I said, you would have to try really hard to. Chill vibes, chill vibes. No death, no death. Yeah, no kills there. Dang, I think if they could have gone on Zarya, that would be blowing her some bit better. Shea has three camps up on bot side. This can't be good for him. Oh, what's going on? Uh, what? No, Lebrov is... Oh my god. Wait, Shea has no flash. Does he get a die? Shea has no flash. Oh my god. Maple took a really crazy path to, to this fight. He went the super pussy way. His jungle? Through his own jungle. If he took the aggressive way, I think he would get at least one kill there. Oh. That's a hook. That's a hook. Yep. Jesus Christ, he's getting... Get the cannon, bro. Holy shit. I know, that was stressing me out. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, is, oh, is Adam no. dead? Is Adam dead? Mm. Oh my god, Azzy no. is... Oh my god, who dies here? Two. One. Q's up. Oh, oh, oh! That was crazy. Okay. Chris Rums again, bro. Damn. Darius losing like, sums is rough. I, I feel like Jinja is the only one who hasn't made a mistake that was caused by nerves. He's just like solid. Calm, calm, yeah. and collected. Because that EQ when he's ghosting and dodging left and right is not easy to hit. I feel like he had, a, he had a, a couple good things. Like he didn't do it too far either. Like a lot of a lot of Jarvans like only know how to do a max range EQ, so that when you miss, you're just getting hit in the ass the whole way back. 
Usually if I'm cooking food for myself, I'll just make PB and J. Cooking. Two men combo. Oh my god. Oh, Woody oh. Dunn got stuffed like a motherfucker. Oh, it's He's doomed. It's actually doomed. Bro. PSG is fucking dead. Doomed for PSG. BDS wins. Yeah. Oh. Wow. G fucking G already, dude? Yeah, the game's legit over. Wait. Close? Yeah, that did about 300 damage. That's fucking close. Does anyone else feel like Talia's hella overrated? No, I'll just yes. But it's playing, so I don't know how much is real. That's true. What's fake? What's I think you real? Can, I think you can just tell based on numbers. Just run the numbers of missed skill shots. I don't think that Maple is missing any skill shots. He's hitting everything and it's just doing no damage. Any other mage there is going to do way more damage than Talia. I mean, it's very possible that Talia is just one of those champs that needs to hit a certain spike before she just starts doing crazy damage. It does seem exponential with like getting points in your Q, getting CDR. Yeah, like maybe level 9-ish or something I've been theorizing. But still, like, it's not like every mage doesn't get a massive spike at level 9. She's not special. Syndra and Ori also get pretty strong. Oh, what happens? What happens? Call it before it happens. Come on, guys. Oh! oh! He done got cheese. You had no idea. You couldn't even tell me. Wow. Well, it really depended if Nar was able to get his double jump off of Darius before he got pulled out of it, but he, uh, Yeah, you're not natural in the matchup, I can tell. Yeah, well, you know, well, actually... You were just watching for the entertainment. You didn't even have any fucking clue. Holy... Ho -ho -ho! Well, it really depended on uh, which one of them successfully got their E off there and... Oh, did you? Wait. Just thought I was looking balance. Huh, that was a weird crystal. I think you should have ulted Rell out. Just beat Jarvan. Yeah, that could have worked too. Malachi is a cheat code. If you don't have control, you can retake with his saplings. If you have control, the enemy team can never walk in. Yeah. Honestly, I, I feel like a huge... Like, the, the way you would uh, kind of, like, make it more fair, just making the range a bit lower. So when he goes to sampling a bush, he's, like, maybe in engage range. Well, that would make him a lot weaker, because then he'd have to be in engage range when he couldn't sapling safely. Wow, But Shao didn't right. throw it in the bush. Throw it in the bush, Shao. Throw the sapling in the bush. No, Talia does zero damage. Oh, bye -bye. Uh oh, he's got the reset. He's got the reset. I only need to see Tristana's damage pre Navori quick plates one time to realize she's the exact same champ as I remember from LCS. The exact same. <laughs> like, unless you're like falling so behind early game that it's a disaster, like, this shit is just completely broken. Oh! Oh! And he's fucking gone. Nah, I think Aphelios is definitely a champion from this decade. Let's keep it going. 200 years? Aphelios is like pathetic now. Where did I put that champ in my tier list? Let's see. Oh, I put him in decent. That was maybe too high. You know a little something about being too high. Wait, Junjia ulted him there? Crazy. Okay, Nuke just monster into that. I mean, didn't really matter. I'm back, what happened? Who got Baron? BDS. BDS got Baron, Nuke monster inted, but I think BDS is still in a really good spot. <laughs> Holy shit, let's go. BDS. What did you do? Got some taquitos from the oven. Wow. You actually like set that shit in the oven? It's crazy, I know. Oh my god. 
Maybe we don't need to commit that much for it. Like, the Zeri ulti might have been excessive. Probably just got shit on. He did get shit on. Alright, how did Nuke in? He... It was jumped in on Jarvan. Didn't get the final stack of his E right here. He got really bored here. Oh. Yeah, Wait, did, did, did Rel's ulti I think, yeah, I think pull Rel's him into a rock and him. Him? Yeah. yeah, okay. That's what I thought. I don't see any universe that the game goes at this late and, and BDS isn't jumping up and down for joy. Tristana and Zeri might be the two literal best AD carries in the game playing versus Jarvan. I, I, I literally I can't think of a single one that's better, actually, between those two. Uh, Vayne. Yeah, but Vayne sucks. But yeah. T tumble out of German ult. Pin down him okay. against Assault and three shot him. Yeah, you can try that. Right after you can tumble out of it. So, so both the AD carries are just looking at Jarvan like, damn, that guy's useless as fuck. Gnar is also... I mean, maybe he could be a problem. Maybe. Blacko could legit have six items. I don't think he's surviving a team fight. Bro, Infelius? If he has Infernum, any ults, the backline, they could actually die. For crits. I don't think he's going to do anything outside of that. Yeah, I think if Tristana literally looks at him, he's dead. Yeah. It'd be like his team initiates and he follows up. And he crits. I think his gun suck right now. Red white? Yeah. You can't play. Need to switch. I mean he doesn't really need to kinda rush it right now just because they're not going towards the green white. This is fine. Oh he can ult, he can ult. Wait, Adam he's ult. Adam's rolled. Adam's rolled. rolled. He's dead. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? Oh, that was obvious. That was completely obvious that he was gonna ult. Adam should have flashed it. Oh, what even fucked him that hard? That was so much damage. He walked. He he walked into CC range. Got got sniper tagged by a turret. And when that happens, the fellow is gonna QR with the sniper. So he will wow, get two more. Oh dead. my god! Wait, he gets an escape. Wow. Bro, wait. What? I don't know. BDS just wins this game anymore. Yeah. That's hella funny, because me and Siki both, like, call one of them. But I guess it makes sense, because you'd have to play a million games of Aphelios. It's like... But there's only one play when someone CC'd. You get your, like, turret to start hitting him, and then you press QR from max range. So, like, you get two more... Yeah. Like, you get two attacks that, like, it locks on no matter where he moves, no matter, like, if he flashes or not. So you have to flash before the, the like... Sniper Q plus Sniper ulti hits you, basically. Yep. And what, like, you have time to consume the proc before the second yep. one hits? Yeah, because, like, uh, the, the first the Sniper Q hits, then the... The second one's, like, delayed. It's super on delayed, yeah. Just some shit that falls from the sky. You have to be mm -hmm. far away, I guess is the best way to describe it. You can't be like already in auto range and do the sniper QR combo, like because then you don't have time to consume the first stack. Have we really seen Zeri hit champions this game? No. I, I think Zeri is absolutely on, on the, horrendous at front to back team fighting. The chart, she had 3.6k damage when Malkai was the highest. I mean, his items suggest he would be strong, but not he actually be, convinced he is. No, I mean, he's jumping strong. Just hasn't actually taken a fight. Holy fuck, man. PSG actually got so much gold. Oh, dude. Jarvan is not a human. I was just say that. It's just not useful. Just failed this combo through the wall. <laughs> is, uh, what item can Jarvan even get that will make him remotely tanky or useful this game? I, I, Knight's Renewance would give Giga value. Oh, yeah. He they buffed the fuck out of it on this patch. Oh, he doesn't even QR. He just ultis. Yep. Turret gets smacked. I mean, he'll probably just go GA, which seems fine. Generally defensive, though, at this point, you'd want to go, like, Randuin's or Night South if you have a Fed carry. Nathan if you have a Fed carry. GA is amazing versus the reset comp. That makes the most sense. You're right. They're looking for a siege like Medius wants. I feel like probably the, the, the player that I would not know, like, if I was in his shoes, I would not know how to play, is 100% the, the Jarvan on, like, in this whole game. 
I wouldn't know what I would do, what to do. Like, you can't really tank. You have to make you time. You can't, so can't really, you it's really like do. hard to engage. Like, I can't see how he would engage, but maybe he can just kind of like. I mean, if someone's caught out, you can like ulti them and combo out. Yeah. Okay, but you probably just want to stay near your carries here and try to follow up on something like. Like EQ has a counter engage. Out of position. Alistair Malkai are not bad targets. Oh. Oh. Wait, they're getting stat stage. checked. Fuck. They're getting hard stat checked. Oh my god. Oh, uh -oh. that's a mad dare. He's so fucking fast. He's so fucking fast. He's scared. He curved. Sana's just like a uh, big problem. 670 or something rained, I think. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. He has flash. He has flash. He's he still unkillable. Three. He's unkillable. Wait. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's they, not they literally can't kill him. He should just turn. <laughs> well, he did have flash, but happens. He doesn't give a fuck. He started up a recall uh, there. I saw. I'm it. not. I'm still not convinced that Talia is a real champ. How the fuck was that a three-item mage that's that's hitting a full armor Darius? <laughs> and and that's the damage. That was pretty he lame. Didn't avoid yet. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna change anything. <laughs> Darius is like dead man's played in Randuins and Ninja he Tab. Like breaker. Thought he had a Negatron. Oh. No, Tilly is not a real champ. I've concluded it. I've scientifically proven it. He seems pretty overrated. Huh? I said she seems overrated. Oh. I actually think this is smart by BDS. They should feel confident to win even against Soul. They never need to feel like, oh, like this is a do or die situation. Like they can make their time, like wait for sums, wait for items. They're just gonna kill Baron here. There's no point to freak out over like a pretty weak soul. It's not even soul, it's literally soul point, but. Uh oh. Adam is fine, no? It's flash. He's dead. Wait, Zeri? That's a bad ult. That's a really bad ult. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Ooh, another bad ult. Okay. They need to base because. Adam's no flash. Wait. Why are they no, it's kind of caught. Guys? Uh oh, Narsho. Rel oh goes in. God. Oh, Adam surely boned. Zeri base. Zeri sold them out there. Zeri actually sold you think them they out. They could have fought that. I mean, it's five v five. Yeah. I mean, I really... why did Zeri even ult in the first place, bro? Holy shit! They just lose the game here, no? That was a crazy I, I recall. No by I don't. I don't think they can end. No, they they don't end. But holy fuck! I, I feel like man. that was still good for BDS. <clears throat> Baron on their carries. They don't lose the game. Good. I don't. I mean, other teams can get Baron. They don't lose nothing. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. I mean, they they're still up in the power play somehow. Look at that. Plus 500. Did get Baron? Kind of like. I, I mean, I think the biggest mistake was Carney walking up nolting because then it made it so they couldn't fight. There's and then he was like, all right, I need to get out. And there's been a couple recalls. times he, he's committed the sin of using his ulti for no reason twice now. The the first one was when they, they double flashed on Aphelios Smith. There was no reason he needed to ult that. Uh -huh. He was triple overkilled. Why did you see a Baron? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Did you see that? It was like a silhouette of him laying down across river. I didn't see it. What the hell? Maybe you need to get some sleep, Sneaky. You're seeing shit. <laughs> Legit go back and streaky. Legit Baron's dick came out. <laughs> I'm going to go back and look. Legit, look at it. It's like right after the wall came in on the replay. Oh, I see it. <laughs> <What's up? laughs> Baron's long schlong. <laughs> 
never seen before. <laughs> Wait, little bruv? Dude, freaking me out, dude. One minute on. Four just fucking ten. laying down on the ground. <laughs> Yo, this is Soul coming up. Can 55. you stop looking at Baron dicks when Soul Point is coming up? <laughs> Show us. Okay, I'll show you really quick. You can actually give them a lot more access to these minions, so they're doing a great job not letting PSG really get that much map control. Here, PSG has decided to shove in midwave and trying to score this. Is, this is the right move by PSG. I think BDS should, should flank instead of all get baited to recall. Anyway, danger of kind of getting caught now, Woody. Galloping towards this dragon 30 seconds oh man gone. they need gold dead even i don't know do bds want to fight this i feel like they have to you can't just let this one go you're not gonna have oh, to wait. i feel like seconds. if i was on stage what i do right now is just fucking puke so i was so nervous yeah getting hella anxious oh my god guys i don't know which team are you on puking either one Nah, mm. probably Jarvan. Maokai is like piss chilling. Rob's in a great spot. He's like, dude, I, I, I yeah, know for yeah. a fact I'll do my job without fail. Like, I will just throw saplings and press my R at some point. Yep. And my team Wait. should outscale and win this. They're just killing it. They're just flipping? Oh! Okay. Okay, they got it. Is, is oh, uh, yeah. Aphelia is ulted. Dude, he's 80 carries. Just hate their ults. Ian, Ian, Ian. But that only stems the bleeding because they've got a oh, shit. Wave. Still absolutely huge play by BDS. They're so well done. Well, Brav called out. I was worried that the Alice are... Uh, this game's... Dude, this this might be the longest game yeah. we're going to get. Yeah, yeah Worlds. Shit's going the fucking long one. Are being dealt with quite easily by the late game double march. I feel like it's gonna end at Elder. Do, would you ever buy GA this game, Sneaky? Uh, I don't think I would even. It, I wouldn't even looks think like about shit. It. No divers. I mean, my logic is always if I if I get GA'd, how fucked am I when it pop up? If if I'm if I'm fine, then I'm gonna probably buy GA. Uh, this game, I like if, it if when like someone can actually just one shot me, but no one actually has threat like that. If, if he never buys potential items, I think by the time he comes up, Tristano will probably be full HP vamping off the tanks. So there's no way that you're. Wait, PSG has three Randuins. They're actually itemizing well. Yeah, it's pretty smart. I feel like they just kill Baron. Yeah. When they get Baron, they try and push. BDS has amazing positioning. Amazing positioning in oh. this fight. Lebrov. Oh. Where is he? Where's Lebrov? Oh. Where's Lebrov? Where's oh. Ariel thing? Wait. Oh, wait. Nars trolling. Nars, Nars. trolling. Wacko's gonna die. GG. GG. Game's, game's over. Wait. Game's over. Game's over. Wait. Oh, never mind. It's over. Yeah, BDS. It's GG. Penta, it's kill. Penta, kill. Give Penta, give Penta, give Penta, give Penta. Oh! Damn. PSG actually gets reverse swept. Holy shit. Wow. Nice. What the fuck? Let's fucking go, West. West Let's go, gamers. West! Woo! The West pulls through. Let's fucking through. go, Western regions. Reverse sweeps at Worlds. I think they should actually be counted as honorary Americans at this point. <laughs> yeah. Who's with me? We can count them. Oh, let's go. The int. They're going to Swiss. Wow. Switzerland. What a series. Looked Jover by game two. lifeless bds corpses until game three you guys called the 3-0 in game three <laughs> Ozzy that was, kept trying that to was engage a bad his, moment hit himself it's pretty PSG's awkward though. drafting though was like pretty egregious the caitlin the fucking oh god the, the, Prio, the fu i don't know I think in the games they won, they drafted well, but in the games they lost, they drafted <laughs> horribly. <laughs> Better coach wins. All right. GG's, boys. You outie? GG, see you tomorrow. Yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. 
Alright, peace. I'm out. GG.